Hello, I'm Flight Lieutenant Stu Campbell. I'm Red 8 and the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows. We're based here at RAF Scampton in Lincolnshire and my day job is to take part in fly pass and displays all over the British Isles and also worldwide. My aviation experience started when I was at university up in Edinburgh. I joined the University Air Squadron, which is part of the Royal Air Force, and learned to fly the Grob Tutor up at RAF Lukers. After that, I was fortunate enough to join the Royal Air Force. I was selected to, to become a pilot. I went through flying training and was selected to be a fast jet pilot. On completion of my fast jet training at RAF Valley on the Hawk, I was sent to become an instructor for my first tour on the Tucano, based at RAF Linton on Ouse. On completion of that uh, tour, known as a creamy tour, I went back through Valley and was posted to the Tornado GR4 RAF Lossiemouth. From there, I served overseas uh, in Afghanistan and also around Europe on exercises, and then applied to the Red Arrows and was fortunate enough to be selected back in 2013. And I've flown in the 2014, 2015 and 2016 display seasons. Something you won't know about my aviation experience is I'm fortunate enough to be the 150th person to ever wear the red flying suit of a Royal Air Force aerobatics team pilot. More than three times this number have been in space and that is a fact I'm very, very proud of. My best aviation moment is very hard to pin down. I've had a lot of highs and very few lows uh, over the 14 years I've spent um, as, a, as a pilot. Um, I guess professionally, some of the missions I've flown in Afghanistan uh, are real highlights. And then within the Red Arrows, I've been fortunate enough to fly over London several times for the Rugby World Cup final for the Queen's 90th birthday. And then the sortie that stands out uh, during my last three years as a real high was flying over the Edinburgh Military Tattoo in Scotland over the town of my birth uh, just several months ago in near perfect weather conditions uh, with my parents watching. My dream aircraft to fly has got to be the F-35. Perhaps the Typhoon is up there on my shortlist as well. And certainly the Hawk is probably a pilot's favourite at the moment, so I'm very, very happy to be flying that. But all I can do is hope and uh, look towards the future and put myself in the very best uh, place to fly that aircraft. <music> best piece of advice I could give to anybody looking for a career in aviation is to set your goals and work very, very hard to achieve them. Try to never let anybody tell you no unless they've got a real justification for doing this. I was told no at a very young age and fortunately, I tried again and again and eventually I'm standing here speaking to you now in a red flying suit. So set your mind to it, set some goals and you never know what you might achieve.